velocity down to zero. So uh, for the umpty umpth time, I guess, I'll <laughs> talk through the EDL video. Can we play the video for entry, descent, and landing, please? This is what's going to happen. As we approach the planet, about seven minutes before we hit the atmosphere, we separate from our cruise stage. At this point, we're operating on batteries only, so we uh, no longer have solar rays powering the vehicle. We have now turned on our UHF transmitter, so we're communicating with Odyssey MRO as well as Green Bank in uh, West Virginia looking for our signal. We hit the Martian atmosphere. We're actually decelerating at this point at the highest rate. We're taking off 90% of the vehicle's speed and about 99% of the vehicle's en energy as we go through the atmosphere. The temperature at the heat shield at its hottest point approaches 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a pretty warm day there. So as we get out of the Martian atmosphere, we now have decelerated from 2,600 miles an hour down to 1,100 miles per hour. So it's a mere 1,100 miles per hour, something that I don't think the Indy riders would approach today. Uh, after we get down to that speed, you'll see that the next activity is, or the next deceleration is, the parachute deploy. 16,000, excuse me, about 10,000 pounds of force will be applied to the vehicle when that parachute inflates in the Mars atmosphere. So we'll stay on the parachute for about another three minutes. We had spent four minutes through the atmosphere before the parachute deployed, and another three minutes riding down on the parachute. And the parachute will take us from 1,100 miles an hour down to about 120 miles per hour. The legs deploy. Our landing legs will deploy. Our landing radar will lock on the ground and give our, our first measured value of our altitude. And then shortly after that, the fireworks literally will begin. Uh, after, uh, after we have radar lock, we will eventually here deploy. And you can see our descent engines fire. We're at 120 miles an hour, rapidly descending and decelerating down to five miles per hour. We reach five miles per hour approximately 100 feet above the surface. You'll notice a little pirouette there. That's the vehicle adjusting its attitude to maximize the solar ray orientation. And then we will gracefully and slowly touch down on the Arctic terrain, which looks very much like you see on the new uh, video we have. The vehicle, oh, you'll see right here, one thing we do is we vent. We take the high pressure helium out of our pressurization tank after landing to make sure no more of the fuel is pushed out of the thrusters after we, do, after we uh, land. We wait approximately 15 minutes after that, and now the orbiters have passed overhead, so all of this is out of communication. But we wait 15 minutes for the dust to settle, at which point we deploy our two solar arrays. This is critical because we need the solar arrays to start recharging our batteries and put us into a power positive state. In other words, bringing more energy in than we consume. Shortly after that, the camera deploys, which will take images of the solar arrays. The meteorological mast with the, with the temperature sensors provided by the Canadian Space Agency is deployed. And briefly, you may have seen the little bio barrier which protects our robotic arm deploys. After that, uh, we, will, uh, we will wait for Odyssey to come overhead at approximately 6.45 tonight. And if everything is going well, we will be radiating and we will be sending back engineering telemetry and hopefully our first images of the solar array. And if we do better than that, images of the deployments, images of the landing legs, or the, one of the landing legs, I should say. And if we do even better than that, we should get our first images of the terrain of Mars and where we've landed above the Arctic Circle for the first time in history. Uh, so the team has uh, been working all night. They're tired but energized. We have some people getting a few catnaps here. My guess is not sleeping very well, because I know I wouldn't. And we're all ready and excited. And with that, I'll turn it back to Veronica. Okay, we'll go ahead and start with questions here in this room, and then we'll take some by phone if there are any. And uh, once I call on you, just please wait for a microphone to come your way and then state your name and affiliation for us. We'll start over here on this side. Just wait for the microphone. It's on its way to you now. John Johnson, Los Angeles Times. What do you expect the first images to show? I mean, we're familiar with...